folks can filter in before we get to the main presentation. So welcome everyone. My name is Kayla. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm the partnerships manager here at Startout. Thank you so much for joining us for our event tonight with the NGLCC, where we're really going to cover the who, why, and how of LGBTBE business certification. Um, we're super excited to have you all here. I'll start with a little intro about Startout in case this is anyone's first Startout event, and then we'll kick it right over um, to the main content. So Startout is a nonprofit organization that supports LGBTQ plus entrepreneurs nationwide. And our mission is really to accelerate the growth of the LGBTQ plus community to drive economic empowerment. And we do that through support of entrepreneurship. Um, a little bit about our programming and reach. So um, I know we have at least one Growth Lab company on the call right now, and the Growth Lab is our accelerator program. And our graduated companies have raised over 700 million in funding and created over 3,600 new jobs. We also have a mentorship program, which uses over 300 mentors, um, an expert office hours program. We also have an, a network of 300 investors who are looking for investment opportunities on our portal. So if you're fundraising, you can get involved with our access to capital program to get support in that way. Um, we also have our online forum and community events just like this one all year round so that you can connect with other founders working in the space. Um, we also just wanted to take a moment to thank our sponsors. It is because of sponsorship from these companies um, that we are able to put on events like these. And so we really appreciate their ongoing support. And then finally, I just wanted to take a quick second to shout out our demo day, which will be happening on May 11th at 7.30 Eastern. Um, eight startup companies will be pitching for cash prizes to a judging panel of investors. It's a really fun event. There's also the opportunity to network after the pitches and connect with other founders and investors who are in the audience. Um, so if you're interested, you can head over to our Eventbrite page, or we have a link here, um, startout slash events slash startout demo day, and you can register for that. We would love to see you all there. And now I want to introduce our main speaker for the evening, Sydney Harris from the NGLCC. Um, Sydney is in charge of supplier diversity um, and has a really great presentation this evening about LGBTBE business certification, how to get started, how to take advantage. So without further ado, I will pass it over to Sydney. I will also just mention that if you have questions while Sydney is talking, um, there's going to be time at the end for her to answer them all. But we ask that you use the Q&A, not the chat, just so that she can more easily keep track of those. Um, but yeah, please take it away, Sydney. And thank you so much for being here. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Kayla. I'm excited to be here. And hi, everyone. Thank you for joining. Again, my name is Sydney Harris. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm manager of supplier diversity here at NGLCC. So um, I know last year we did a couple of webinars with Startout on how to certify your business and really, uh, you know, some in-depth info on how to get your business certified as an NGLCC certified LGBT business enterprise or LGBTBE. And so to, today I really want to share some more about the benefits of being an LGBTBE and really how to get involved uh, with NGLCC and making the most of your certification. So just to get us started, I'd like to share some about NGLCC. NGLCC, or the National LGBT Chamber of Commerce, was founded in 2002 by Justin Nelson and Chance Mitchell and serves as a direct link between LGBTQ business owners, corporations, and government partners. NGLCC Supplier Diversity Initiative, or the SDI Initiative, uh, was founded in 2004, um, as well as LGBT business enterprise certification. And a little bit more about the NGLCC. So in addition to serving as the direct link between LGBTQ business owners, corporations, and governments, NGLCC leads policy advocacy uh, for LGBTQ economic inclusion and founded the National Business Inclusion Consortium in 2011. We also work with 75 or over 75 domestic and international affiliate chambers of commerce. We have offices here in DC and New York, and we also have a global division that was founded in 2014. 
NGLCC is the exclusive third-party national certification body for LGBT business enterprises or LGBTBEs. And LGBTBE certification is available to for-profit businesses that are at least 51% owned, operated, managed, and controlled by an LGBTQ owner or multiple LGBTQ business owners. NGLCC also hosts the largest LGBTQ business event in the world, and that is the NGLCC's International Business and Leadership Conference. This year's conference will take place in August in Denver, Colorado, and we are very excited for uh, this year's conference. If you're interested in learning more, I'd definitely check out our conference webpage on nglcc.org. We also work with over 450 corporate partners, and I've included a few of our founding corporate partners here on the screen, including IBM, Wells Fargo, JP Morgan Chase, and many more. There is a full list of NGLCC's corporate partners on our website, uh, so definitely check that out if you're interested in learning more. Now I'd really like to jump into the benefits of being a certified LGBT business enterprise or LGBTBE. So certified LGBTBEs receive national recognition by America's top corporations. And you also are able to gain access to NGLCC's database of corporate partners and fellow certified LGBTBEs through the MyNGLCC portal. You also have access to all of NGLCC's corporate, government, and organizational partners that are looking to do business with certified LGBTBE companies. You can use the NGLCC certified LGBTBE logo on your website and marketing materials, as well as attend NGLCC's International Business and Leadership Conference. And you also gain access to our matchmaker, matchmaker events uh, these take place virtually throughout the year, as well as in person at our conference and uh, other NGLCC signature events, such as our Unity Week events. I also wanted to highlight NGLCC's Stakeholder Engagement Center. The Stakeholder Engagement Center is really uh, your company's dedicated RFP concierge and really works to expand contracting our procurement opportunities through events, business-to-business -business connections, and expanded technologies. Uh, we work, or the Engagement Center works to identify relevant LGBTBEs uh, for contracting opportunities with NGLCC's corporate partners and other certified LGBTBE companies. And they also alert LGBTBEs of relevant uh, or pertinent events, such as our matchmaker events and other resources that our corporate partners may also share with us. They also work to connect businesses together who may be able to team up for tiered contracting opportunities. So I also wanted to share a little bit about corporate supplier diversity professionals. Corporate supplier diversity professionals really serve as your advocate at a corporation and, you know, advocating for uh, strategic sourcing and reviewing procurement pipelines to find opportunities for diverse supplier inclusion. They, however, are often not responsible for final purchasing decisions. Corporate partners will often reach out to NGLCC with opportunities and RFPs and send NGLCC information on networking or matchmaker events that they also might be hosting. They also um, oftentimes serve as mentors in NGLCC's mentorship program, which I will share a little bit more about uh, later on as well. And NGLCC works to match RFP opportunities to relevant NGLCC certified LGBTBEs, as well as send the contact and capability information of relevant LGBTBEs to corporate partners for contracting opportunities. We also work to alert LGBTBEs of upcoming, upcoming opportunities and deadlines. Now I really wanna go a little bit more in detail about 
you know, some of the benefits that we've just gone over. So starting first with MyNGLCC, as I mentioned, MyNGLCC is your connection to other certified companies, as well as NGLCC's corporate partners. And when you log into the MyNGLCC profile, you will see your business profile, and this is what other companies can see about your business. And so once you become certified, we highly recommend, you know, making sure your profile is up to date with all of your contact information, as well as your website, any social media sites you may have, but also making sure you filled in all of the relevant fields. Um, for example, your annual revenue, the number of employees you may have, all of the information in your profile is used to help match companies for relevant opportunities. Um, so it is very important to make sure this information is up to date. I also will note that certification is the starting line. You know, we've discussed there's many benefits to being a certified LGBTVE. So getting certified is just the start, not the finish line of, you know, really accessing these opportunities. And it's important to build connections. You know, contracts are not won overnight. So building relationships with supplier diversity professionals at corporations who you're seeking to do business with is incredibly important. And it, you know, definitely takes time. And I recommend also, you know, building connections within the certified LGBTBE community as well. It's really important, I believe, to make those connections with other certified suppliers. You never know when there might be an opportunity for you all to team up together or also, you know, just gain some new tips and tricks um, from other certified BEs. So again, certification starts the dialogue, but a quality and competitive bin, bid wins the contract. Um, so again, it is really uh, just the starting line here um, in terms of when it comes to corporate contracting. So when you are looking to do business with a corporation or um, even business to business, it's important to know your company, but also the company you're approaching. You know, what do they buy that you are selling and what can you do for them? It's important to do your homework ahead of time before, you know, your matchmaking meetings or other, um, if you are giving a pitch. Um, so make sure you do your homework and research ahead of those meetings as you are building your connections and networking uh, with companies who you are looking to do business with. And that leads me right into practice your pitch and have a capability statement. You know, really prepare yourself when you are going into meetings with corporate partners or um, businesses who you may be interested in contracting with. And, you know, NGLCC has um, a few events to help businesses, you know, prepare and practice their pitch. Um, one we do is called Sip and Pitch. We do this once a month on a Friday afternoon where business owners have the opportunity to present a five minute pitch to a panel of corporate partners. And it is a very casual uh, event that we do virtually that really gives business owner owners the opportunity to gain some real time feedback on their pitch from corporate partners, as well as connect with one another to gain some new tips and tricks. All right, so next I have be persistent, but don't be a pest. You know, while you are connecting with corporate partners and um, other folks who you are maybe looking to do business with, it's important to stay in contact with them. You know, do a check-in with them maybe once a quarter or, um, you know, it depends kind of who you are working with, but, you know, you will fall into a great, a good cadence with them and be sure to check in, you know, share when there's updates. Maybe you have added on capabilities or um, you have, <clears throat> excuse me, added on capabilities or, you know, something of that sort where you want to update them and say, hey, you know, I know we discussed this um, earlier on in the year, but we've recently, um, you know, added this to our company or services that we offer. And we really wanted to highlight that. So again, not 
reaching out all the time, but being persistent and reaching out and sharing those important updates uh, with uh, those who you're looking to contract with. Next, how do you measure success? You know, we say certification has a lot more to offer outside of a contract. So again, connecting with other certified, <clears throat> excuse me, LGBTBEs, or getting connected with your local affiliate chamber. There are a lot of connections that can be made and uh, programs to participate in outside of, you know, just the contracting um, opportunities. So I know I also mentioned that certified LGBTBEs are also able to use the certified LGBTBE logo on their website and marketing materials. And I just wanted to show some examples of what that logo looks like. So here on the right side screen, there's a few of our logos. You can see uh, some folks even include it on their packaging. And I'm also excited to share that later on this year, we will be releasing an LGBTQ marketplace designation. So um, some of you may be familiar with uh, the marketplace designations that say women owns, uh, just for example. So we will be later this year releasing an LGBTQ owns marketplace designation, and we are really excited about that. So definitely stay tuned. And I also wanted to uh, discuss briefly tiered contracting opportunities. When it comes to co corporate contracting, uh, there are tier one and tier two suppliers. A tier one supplier will invoice a corporation directly for goods and services. And a tier two supplier will invoice a tier one supplier for their services. Uh, so let's say, for example, a large corporation is hosting an event. They may outsource the production of marketing materials to a marketing firm. And that marketing firm may outsource a, their graphic design and print materials to a smaller diverse owned business. And these are the tier two contracts. And I really want to highlight the importance of tiered contracting as there are many opportunities for LGBTBEs to get their foot in the door with the corporations uh, as a tier two supplier. Awesome, yeah, I know I've touched briefly on some of NGLCC's programs, but I would like to share a little bit more. So NGLCC also has a mentorship program and NGLCC's mentorship program works to six, support the growth and success of certified LGBTBEs. And the mentorship program matches certified LGBTBE companies with representatives from NGLCC's corporate partners, as well as more seasoned LGBTBEs for a year long mentorship program. And for more information on the program, please feel free to reach out to mentorship at nglcc.org. NGLCC also has a few other current programs and initiatives. So about uh, once a month, I know it says twice monthly, but it's uh, more uh, about once a month, we host a Webinar Wednesday series. And the Webinar Wednesdays are really geared towards LGBTBEs in different commodity and industry areas. And um, really is a business development uh, session that we do on different topics. We have recordings of past Webinar Wednesday events on our YouTube page, so definitely check those out. We also have our LGBTQ Sip and Pitch Friday program. Uh, I shared a little bit about this earlier, but again, it gives uh, certified BEs an opportunity to do a five-minute pitch in front of a panel of corporate partners as well as other uh, webinar attendees. And it's really a fun event and a great way to wind down the week. And we actually have one scheduled for this Friday. So if you're interested in checking it out, I would definitely uh, do so. You're able to register through the NGLCC website on our events page. We also host our virtual matchmaker sessions throughout the year. And the virtual matchmaker sessions uh, focus on a specific industry or commodity area. 
and again gives business owners to meet one-on-one -on -one with representatives from our corporate partners as well as other certified BEs for a 15-minute one-on-one meeting where you get to pitch and you know really start to develop those connections. We also host the matchmaker meetings in person at our conference and Unity Week events. And lastly, we have our Accelerate Certified LGBTVE Capacity Development Program. And we work with Wells Fargo and Dell Small Business on the Accelerate Program, which really works to support the growth and success of LGBTVEs in highly competitive markets. For more information on any of our current programs and initiatives, please check out our events page on nglcc.org. Here you'll be able to sign up for any upcoming events and see information on how to participate as well. I also would like to share some about NGLCC's Communities of Color Initiative. NGLCC's Communities of Color Initiative, or the COCHI Initiative, works to support the growth and success of minority LGBTQ-owned businesses through certification and business development by creating equal opportunities for the economic advancement and empowerment of the minority LGBTQ business community. And for more information, please feel free to reach out to kochi at nglcc.org. I also would like to share some about NGLCC's uh, Transgender and Gender Expansive Initiative or the TGX Initiative. And NGLCC's TGX initiative works to convene a group of diverse leaders that will improve and advise upon efforts to procure goods and services from transgender, gender nonconforming, and non-binary business owners, with the ultimate goal of economic empowerment for some of the most vulnerable, yet most innovative members of the LGBTQ community. For more information on NGLCC's TGX initiative, please feel free to uh, visit NGLCC's T, uh, initiative page on NGLCC's website or reach out to tgx at nglcc.org. And lastly, I would like to share my contact information. Um, so please feel free to reach out to me with any questions on any of the benefits of being a certified BE, or if you'd like to learn more about how to certify your business, we are always happy to connect. I've also shared my team's email um, and phone number below. So again, please feel free to reach out to our team. And I see we have several questions in the Q&A. So um, let's go ahead and jump into those. So I see our first question is, um, regarding micro businesses. Um, so for um, any business of any size, um, the criteria for LGBTBE certification, we require the business to be at least 51% owned, operated, managed, and controlled to be certified as an LGBTBE. Um, and we do certify uh, businesses of varying sizes. So whether you are a sole proprietor, or a large corporation, uh, we do certify businesses of all sizes. And let's see here. All right, so I believe um, you know, we have a question here about leveraging your certification, um, especially at um, L NGLCC's conference. So at conference, uh, we do host on the first day a um, session on uh, for newly certified LGBTBEs or, you know, really any LGBTBE that is in attendance that really focuses on how to gain as much from the conference as possible. Um, you know, including preparing your pitch and other, you know, items that are pertinent at the conference as you are making connections with corporate partners, as well as other, um, you know, BEs who you may be looking to do business with. Let's 
The next question we have here. Um, so the next question is, is there a directory of certified LGBTBE companies? Uh, we do not have a public directory of certified LGBTBEs. However, um, you know, once you do become a certified business, you do gain access to NGLCC's database of other certified companies as well as corporate partners. I would also note on uh, that question that I definitely look into um, your local LGBTQ Chamber of Commerce. Um, that's a great way to connect with local LGBTQ businesses and, uh, you know, really support the LGBTQ business community. Our next question here is about the certification process and kind of this, you know, steps into the certification process. Uh, so first, the first step of the process is to create your business profile on myNGLCC.org. The second step will be to upload supporting documents. And the supporting documents really tell us just a little bit more about you as the owner but also some more about your business. Um, and then the third step is a virtual site visit. And the virtual site visit is really an interview to learn a little bit more about your business, as well as the functions of the business and daily operations. And again, this is conducted virtually via Zoom or Microsoft Teams or whichever virtual platform works best for you and the site visitor. Um, and again, this is done remotely. And even though it is a virtual site visit, I know many business owners do operate from home offices or remotely, and that is perfectly okay. Um, of course, no tour of your home office is required. Again, it really is an interview to learn more about the business. I also see a question here about um, the certification and you know, if there's a minimum, uh, you know, number of years that the business must be established to be certified. Um, and we do not have a uh, minimum number of years the business must be established. Um, you are able to go through the certification process as long as the business has been established as a legal entity in the United States. So no matter how many years you have been in business. I see another question here um, about certification of social enterprises. So uh, NGLCC does not uh, certify nonprofits as um, there is no way to really prove who is the owner of a nonprofit. However, we do highly recommend for you know, nonprofits to check out their local LGBTQ Chamber of Commerces and get involved with the LGBTQ business community on the local level. And I believe our last question here is on the other criteria for being certified. Uh, so again, to be certified as an LGBTBE, we require the business to be at least 51% owned, operated, managed, and controlled by an LGBTQ owner or multiple owners. We also uh, require the business owners to be uh, U.S. citizens or permanent residents in the United States, um, as well as have the business headquartered and established as a legal entity here in the United States and operate independently of um, any non-LGBTQ owned companies or uh, corporations. And, oh, I see we have one more question. Um, let's see. Um, I believe, this question is a little bit more specific to um, a company. If you have any specific questions about your company or your company structure, I definitely recommend uh, 
reaching out to me or our team, and we'd be happy to chat and provide some more information on what the certification process looks like and answer any questions that may be specific uh, to your company. We have another question here about uh, legal structures of businesses. So, um, and about the different uh, structures that we certify. So for LGBTBE certification, um, if your business is established as an LLC or an S Corp or a C Corp um, or a partnership or a sole proprietorship, um, we are able to uh, certify um, business, any of business that are organized in those uh, structures. Um, I hope that answers that question. I think that might be the last question. We have one more question that I saw in the chat so I can read it out to you. It says, I provide services as a coach slash consultant, but no goods. Would this, would certification still be beneficial? And if yes, how? Yeah, that's a great question. So um, a business that offers uh, services, you know, versus a physical uh, commodity or good is definitely eligible for certification. And there are many other certified uh, consultants um, and uh, consulting professionals. Um, so I believe, you know, some of the main benefits there would be connecting with other certified LGBTBE folks who also um, offer consulting services. But also, you know, if you are looking to uh, contract with any large corporations and get into the corporate contracting space, that would definitely be a benefit as well. And of course, you know, attending um, NGLCC events and programming uh, that, you know, can help you with capacity building and business development as well as professional development. So there are, uh, you know, again, many opportunities uh, for um, someone in the consulting space. I think we have one more question that snuck into the Q&A about how to prepare for a site visit. Their application has been accepted and now they're waiting on that portion. Great question. Yeah. So for the site visit, um, again, uh, the site visit really is just an interview that will be conducted virtually. Um, so really, we are just looking to learn a little bit more about the business and daily operations. So there's not too much to prepare ahead of the site visit. However, um, if you have any more specific questions about what that might look like, um, again, please feel free to reach out to our team and we'll be happy to assist. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Sydney. I feel like we all just learned a lot of information in a very short, efficient amount of time. So thank you. Thank you. Um, and everyone, Sydney's contact information is on the screen right now. So if you have more specific questions or think of something, you can keep that and reach out. Um, and then besides that, I think we can wrap up a little early. Sydney, thank you so much for being here today. Everyone in the audience, thank you so much for attending and asking such insightful and great questions. Um, we'll also have the recording of this event up on our YouTube, the Start Out YouTube page by the end of the week. So if you want to go back and refer to any of the information, you can see it there as well. Um, and thank you, everyone. Hope to see you at another event soon and have a great rest of your evening. Thanks, everyone. Thanks.